Hello and welcome to another Nicomedia, <laughs> Nicomedia thing. Uh, today I will want to introduce the version 2 of uh, the Octane Rig, of Nicomedia's Octane Rig. It's not ready yet, but uh, I want to show you one thing, so a sneak peek. So, so uh, I made today the fork feature and the fork feature, I love it. And I want to show you how this, how easy you can get fork now in your scene. And uh, yeah, but first, an uh, important thing, uh, the new version of, of Octane will cost 15 euros of the version 2, but everyone who bought uh, the, Cineric, uh, the, the Octane Rig, the version 1, uh, will get, of course, the update for free. And everyone who buys the version 1 before I release the version 2, uh, we'll get it for 10 euro too because if you buy now the version 1 before I release the version 2 you will get the update for free of course and I think the final release of my Octane Rig 2 will come so around weekend uh, yeah but now I want to show you uh, uh, the, the, the fog features as a sneak preview and I, I love it. I, I played around with it now and, and I really love it. Uh, yeah, this is my scene, what, what I made recently, so one week ago or something else. Patrons uh, with five euros and above can download this scene on on my Patreon site. The link is in the description. And yeah, so uh, let's start. I have here the scene without nothing, so no no HDRI, no nothing, there's no lights in this. Yeah, the lights, just the light from these lights and from the buildings and the reflections come just from the buildings. And But there you see there is no nothing like a scene in this camera, uh, in, in, this, in this thing here, in this scene. So let's bring in the Nicomedia scene rig, uh, the, uh, the, but the Octane one, so the Octane rig, whoop, Octane rig. Okay, the first thing I forgot to disable the camera in the Octane Rig. So disable the camera here. You see we have an own camera here, of course, and, and yeah, the, the camera here works, of course, and, and everything works fine here. And yep. And we have, yeah, it's new in the new versions. I have everywhere a reset button, so we can reset the camera and everything. So activate and deactivate so and but I want to use now this camera but because not everything works here so not everything is connected so I have to connect this post-processing things and, and the, the camera image and everything so I use for this I use this camera here from the scene so deactivate this one activate this camera and this is the original camera from my scene Good, I don't need here a background or a floor or something else. So this is this. And I will use another HDRI here, of course. So I uh, drag in the original HDRI I used for this. And this is this one. I have it here on my other monitor. This is this one. And bring it so something like this here. Okay. Nice. But this is an HDRI and this is not really uh, good for a background picture. So now we have the possibility to bring in a, a separate picture, uh, picture. So I bring in a background picture and here I have an HDRI. This is, you see now we have no background picture here. So this is the reason we get the right background. But I drag in now a spherical picture here. And now we have a background picture. Okay. This is a spherical one. If you want to drag in a flat picture, so uh, you have to go picture flat and uh, check it. And then this alpha channel means don't forget if you use a flat picture that you go to your render settings here and activate alpha channel. So this is the reason I wrote here alpha channel. You don't forget to activate here alpha channel. Then you can use a flat picture. Okay. This is this. So far, so good. And now, what I want is the fog. We can play with the sun too, but maybe later. So, now fog. I just activate the fog. Whoops. So, we have something like fog. 
I go to the view here, so and this with the with this uh is a uh, bluish greenish circles is our folk. You see it here too. And if you don't like this, uh, you can uh, disable it here in the display type. You have here some display types. But and uh, I recommend by in big scenes like this, go up with the size uh, voxel size editor in the editor. So I go here to eight or something else because the uh, edit is bigger. This number is as faster you work in the editor. And yeah, so eight it should be okay here. And but I see here now, okay, this fog is far too small for this scene. Huh? Okay, and I have here my camera. Okay, the camera should be inside. It's not necessary, but should be inside the fog. So at least I like it like this. So uh, now let, let me make it bigger, the size of the fog. So I think, go here to 5000 and the height 2000 and 5000. And you see, uh -huh, we have something like fog. But you see the fog, we can move the fog uh, to the front. So, so when the camera starts, so I go here in the position tag, in the C-axis, X we have here, Y and C. Uh, we are here in 5000, so let's say 2000 in the C. Okay, that looks nice. And we see not much now. We see, okay, this is the denoiser here. Uh, Let's deactivate the denoiser for the moment. I'll go to camera image and denoiser. Disable the denoiser. So I want to see more here, of course. So go back to the octane rig and I lock the octane rig here so I can. I have it every time here. Fog density. I go down with the density here. So let's see, point 0.2. You see? Uh -huh, okay. Looks better. Can go down to point one. And I see more. But here it's better to try to play with the scattering and absorption color. So with the absorption color when I go up here, see we get a brighter picture. And with the absorption uh, with the with the scattering here, when I go to the darker one, I get a little less. And this looks great. Get a very nice fog here. And when I see that this is okay, uh, I can go up with the in the position we have thousand here the size in the y axis. So let's go to five hundred here. So now we have this. Maybe I go with the scattering a little up. Or I can go down with the density. So you can play here. Uh, you have so much uh, possibilities here. And you see, it, 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 it already looks like nice. But I make it here darker so I get a darker image. And go with the density up a little bit. So let's say the 0.5. That's maybe a little too much, but I can make it here a little bright, brighter, I said, not darker. As I said, I played a lot with this. This is makes so much fun because it's so easy to use. You don't have to go every time in, in uh, lots of different uh, tabs and, and, and go then inside the volume medium and inside there you in the in the RGB spectrum and 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 then go back so you have everything in one tab and you can play. Yeah I already like this. And yeah if you want to a lot of, <laughs> of folk and you can even put in uh yeah, if you see this uh, hot pixels here, you can play, of course, in the camera with the hot pixel removal. So this is, this is in the camera image uh, somewhere. Here there should be a hot pixel removal. You see, 
the tapes a little bit, but it mixes. But, but we, we can play with the denoiser also. So go to the denoiser. And this denoise volumes normally is off at the default. So I enable it here. Now I have here the D main. This is the, the pass. You see, it makes everything nice here, but not, not the, the volume. So you, you have to activate the volumes too here. And now you get this. It's a little splashy, but because it's a lot here and we, we are we are at 300 samples, so this is nothing. <laughs> but for our tests here, it works great. And it looks not so bad. It looks like a little smoke here as well. And you can play here, let's say, f with uh, texture too. So let's uh, make something like clouds in the background or something else. So let's go to the texture and noise. And I open the noise here, or the texture here. So let's go inside. So come on. There should be somewhere a little error. Why is my error not here? Ah, it's, it's maybe an error. <laughs> it doesn't matter because I can go in the texture like this too. But then I, when, I go, when I go up, I have to unlock and then lock again. But that doesn't matter now. So I go to the texture and say the noise. Let's say I want a Gaussian noise. And much bigger, 1500 and with the contrast I go to 100 so that we see something ok you see these small things here we have here something like clouds so let's stretch these clouds a little bit and we get some clouds here I can go here with the noise Make it a little darker, everything. And we get nice noise in the background, uh, nice clouds in the background. And we can, of course, still work. Now you see this, this going up is just so. Now, 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 now it's, it's, it's here. This, I searched this area, I searched. I don't know why it was not here for before. Okay, uh, we have now this, and now, of course, we can go with density. To, let's see, 8. See, it looks like if, uh, uh, if you know it's also so, so smoke. <laughs> so I like it, and yeah, and, and we go to, to the texture. We can play here with the colors. So, so, oopsie. so I have less clouds, but just. You can, you can, uh, you you really get used to it. If you play a, li a little while with it, you know how to use it. So, so you really feel how to use it. This, this is this is great. So, so more fog. Maybe here. I want to hear less. Here more folks, so you see that you have so many possibilities here. And yeah, and if you if you see this uh, it is too too uh, edge, go up with the edge feather, this makes it even nicer everything, makes it more smooth the whole thing. Let's go here to one. Let's make this the size higher. You see, and you can you can work hours with this. So, so the density to two. So <laughs> okay, then I never would r go back to this town <laughs> when it looks like this. So. Yeah, play with it and play with it. I just want to show you how, how, how nice it is to, to, to work with this one. I really like it. And if you bring it, you can bring in the sun too, so, so activate the sun. Of course, the sun we have now to go down with the sun. So. Ah, first, I deactivate the fog. 
and play now with the sun. So I see the shadows here nicely. So the sun is sun is here, so let's say the shadows come from to here. Nice. Let's now I think you can mix it with with the uh, with the HDRI. Here you mix it with the HDRI and so get this. Now activate the fog. I think without the background, just with the HDRI we could get a nice background. Deactivate this here and just Yeah, that looks not bad here. HDRI and then I go with the sun power to down here. That looks nice. Yeah, this is what I like. Little more fog. Yeah. Yeah. This for example you can it's it's very easy to to to, to, to uh to get this result. So so with a nice fog with nice clouds, everything you can make with this. So it is was just a sneak peek. It's not ready yet uh, as I said. It will come out uh, around weekend. And yeah, and as I said, everyone who buys it until until weekend or until the new release will get it for 10 euro. And after the release, it will cost 15 euro. And I think this is still a, a, a very fair price. And yeah, I hope you like this. And yeah, we can. What I, I want to see here is some motion player too. So. Yeah, motion blur I have to, to add here too, so this is not ready here, but for in this camera, of course, it should work. And now, let's go to the G, so let's. Now we have motion blur. Whoop. Yeah. And as I said, you can download, uh, if you're a patron, you can download this scene in uh, on Patreon. If you're a patron, 5 euro and above. And you can play in that then with it. So as I said, in around weekend we, it will come out. So okay, this it was for now. Just wanted to show you this nice fog feature. I, I, I love to play with it. It's, and uh, yeah, then they will come and, and the nice, uh, the nice sun things. And so I will show you the, the whole thing. Of course, I bring out an, a tutorial for the if it, when it's ready, I, I make a tutorial for the for all the settings and everything. And yeah, so I wish you a nice evening, a nice day, uh, whatever. I, for me, it's evening. And next tutorial will come soon. Uh, I don't cannot promise when because I work on this and uh, I have some jobs to to, to uh, be finished. And uh, yeah, but next tutorial will come soon. And okay, stay tuned. I would say. I wish you all the best, best, best Richards here from Vienna and have a wonderful day. Tschüss und Baba.